Hi, my name's Kate O'Connell and I volunteered for Beer City Biscuits. I got the opportunity this semester to volunteer for five hours with this amazing program. Beer City Biscuits was founded in 2018 in Grand Rapids by Leslie Hooker and Suzanne Wilcox. The organization got its name because Grand Rapids is the beer city of America. It is also named this because Founders donates all of its spent grains left over from making beer for free to this organization. Leslie Hooker was inspired to start this program because of her blind son, Tannis Hooker. I volunteered for Beer City Biscuits in the local church called Central Reformed Church in Grand Rapids. This church allows the volunteers for this program to use their kitchen for free. In October, I got to bring home the biscuits and package and label them. In November, I got to interact with the disabled individuals. Along with volunteers, the disabled people mix the mix for biscuits, which consists of flour, peanut butter, spent grains from founders, and vanilla extract. Then, we take the wet mold and carefully place them into the little red and purple dog bone molds. After we place them in the oven to cook and harden. Then, put the bones in plastic bags and add stickers and labels so that they are ready to sell the biscuits. Then, the volunteers are able to go promote and sell these biscuits in places such as Meyer Gardens and Mason Jones. The purpose of the Beer City organization is to help these disabled people get integrated into the community. They earn a small proceed of the profits that are made off the biscuits that they can use in their everyday life. However, the rest of the money all goes into buying group homes for these disabled individuals so they can live together with assisted care. By volunteering for Beer City Biscuits, I made a difference in many of these disabled individuals' lives. By spending as little as five hours making biscuits, I was able to make more than 7,000 biscuits that they were able to sell. I provided a commodity that earns them money and ultimately gives them a home. This home is so important to them because they cannot do many daily activities so easily as we can, and living in, with assisted care in these homes helps them immensely. My volunteer hours help them reach this goal of buying a group home. Not only did I help them in monetary ways, but also helped improve their daily lives. By having an individual that is younger be able to talk to them and just interact with them really seemed to put a smile on their face. We talked about our favorite Disney songs and our favorite Disney movies and all the stuff that we loved growing up. My volunteer hours also made the community a better place environmentally. The spent grains that would usually just get thrown out from the beer companies of founders were used to make the delicious dog treats that all dogs love to eat. Not only did my hours impact the individuals who are disabled, but also impacted me immensely. I got to learn about what they love and just interact with them, which usually I don't get to do on a daily basis. I truly enjoy just listening to music with them and talking to them and seeing how their life differed from mine. It touched my heart to see how happy they were to do this job that most people wouldn't want to do. Unlike most of the American population, they enjoyed coming and working and interacting with everyone. During these few hours of listening to Disney's greatest hits, I got to go into a flashback back into my childhood and just feel pure joy while talking to these individuals. We talked about our weekend plans and what we were for Halloween and just simple stuff and it really just made me so happy to see that they were just happy to talk to me and interact with other people. And seeing these individuals deal with their disabilities on a daily basis and just really embrace them and be positive all the time really impacted me. It really opened my eyes to not take all the blessings I have for granted. This experience just really showed me to go through life day by day and embrace life in the positivity that all these individuals with disabilities did. I feel like I truly am more aware of all the struggles that people are going through each day. This volunteer experience was definitely the best thing I've ever done volunteering wise and I plan to go back Christmas break and volunteer with them just because I'm so excited to talk to them and give them the opportunity to get the group home that they all deserve to live in.